Welcome to my Canon 6D camera repair series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to open up a Canon 6D camera. Before you get started though, be sure to download the screw layout guide for this video. It'll help you keep track of the screws as you remove them from the camera. For this one you need diagram number one. The links to these diagrams are in the description for this video. To use these guides, simply put a piece of double-sided tape over the top of each yellow screw on the paper. Then when you remove a screw from the camera, put the screw on its head on the tape. It'll help keep it secure and that way you know exactly where that screw goes when you're putting it back together. You'll need a 4 aught Phillips head screwdriver for the screws. Two important things to do first is to make sure that the SD card is removed and also the battery. To start, we'll need to remove the rubber grips off the camera. There's three of them total. Just take a flat tip screwdriver and lift up on one of the corners. Once you have the corner up, you can start to peel it off. The first screws that we're going to remove are three screws that are on this end of the camera. They hold this plate on. We'll need to remove these two screws and then one screw that's down underneath here. With the three screws removed, you should be able to just lift that plate right off now. The next part that we're going to take off is the entire back panel. Now that includes the LCD screen that's connected to it. First we'll need to remove this part of the viewfinder. Just push up on the bottom and it'll slide right off. That exposes three screws underneath there. We'll need to take those three out, plus six more for a total of nine screws. There's one more right here, two on the bottom, one underneath the battery door, and then two over here. With the nine screws removed, you should be able to lift that back panel completely off. Be careful when you do because there's a flat ribbon cable connecting it to the main board. Just take a flat tip screwdriver and put it under the edge of the connector and just lift lightly. It should come right off. The next part that we can remove is the entire bottom part. There's five screws that hold it on. One here, here, and here. And there's one on the front, and then one on the end. With the five screws removed, you should be able to just lift the bottom part off now. Next, we can remove the entire front part. Now there's eight screws that hold this on. Two of them over on the side, this top one here and this bottom one on the silver ones. 
and there's one here, one on the bottom, two over here, and then these two. With all eight screws removed, we could lift this front panel off right now. But before we do, we want to go back on the back side here on the main board and disconnect this connector right here. With this wire disconnected now, we can lift the front panel right off. The next part that we can remove is the entire top piece. Now there's two screws that hold it down. One right here one at the other end from underneath right here plus we're also going to have to remove this focus knob from the viewfinder before we can actually remove the top piece we need to unhook this connector right here and also unhook this flat ribbon cable over here. Now on the connector, you can just lift on it and it'll unhook. Now with this flat ribbon cable though, you can see that there's a hole in it right there. The best way to remove it is to use something like this .7 awl because it'll fit right inside that hole and then you can just slide it out. With these two flat ribbon cables disconnected now, you can lift right up on the top part, but only lift just a little ways because you'll see that underneath there's another flat ribbon cable. All you have to do is just lift up on the connector, there's a little board right on top, just lift up on that and it'll come right off. The last part that we can remove is the SD card end of the body and there's only one screw left that's holding it on. With that screw removed, we can just lift that right off of there. Okay, we've removed all of the camera body from this camera now. And all of the screws, they're attached to the screw layout diagram. In the next video in this video series, I'll show you how to remove the circuit boards from this camera. Be sure to look in the description of this video for links to the next video.